Hi there, I am Turogi Pro and I welcome you to my YouTube channel. As requested by one of my subscribers, we are going to configure a PFSense firewall to deny any website access except for Gmail and Google Drive. Now if it's your first time in my YouTube channel, just consider subscribing and you're going to learn a lot more. Let's start with the configuration. Now before configuring our firewall rules, let's make sure we can reach other website like Reddit. We can visit Reddit. Let's try YouTube. What else do you like to visit? I don't know your favorite websites, but um, just as just an example, we can still uh, reach other websites like Reddit and YouTube. Okay, YouTube is there. My internet is a little bit slow today. Since it's working for us. Uh, I have also my Google here and our Gmail. Let's go back to our firewall and go to our alias. Alias gives us the ability to group IP address or URLs. It doesn't matter what you are going to use, it's it IP or URL or if you are trying to block a certain port number then gather them together, give them one name and then use it on your firewall rule. What we're going to do is add, put a name for allowed underscore websites and then description would be gmail and google drive stay for host you can see we can use ip or fully qualified domain name so let's just put the mail.google.com here fully qualified domain name I paste this one and save apply changes and then we can add, uh, edit this one. Uh, we can add host, put in the drive.google.com, copy, and then paste, and then add host. We can also add google.com, and then we can save both of these. Apply. So let's go back and check this one again. We have three, mail.google.com, drive.google.com, and google.com. I added google.com so that we can go there and uh, search for Gmail and uh, Google Drive. Now, even if uh, we tried to uh, type in reddit.com, the Google search will show up, but by the time we are going to click uh, read Reddit, it will be blocked. We are going to save that one. Since we have already created an alias, let's go back to firewall rules and go to LAN. On our LAN, these are the default firewall rule that has been created by PFSense itself. This is allowing all the internet traffic to pass through. We are going to add a firewall rule. Add. This will be a pass rule. The interface would be the LAN, IPv4, and then TCP. Source would be any. Any would be the source or much possible that we use the LAN network. Destination would be going to our single host or alias, the alias we created. Let's type here allowed. Yeah, there you go, it popped in. Allowed website. Destination port range, we can use any here. And then description would be Gmail and Google Drive allowed. And then we can save this one. Now, after creating that, we are going to create a deny or a block. So we are going to add add and then block LAN interface IPv4 any. And then we put uh, LAN, we can use any also and then any and then deny all websites save apply now we need to put this deny statement below the allowed that's the that's how the firewall works we need to allow first the website we want and then after allowing that one we deny everything else and then we save this one save apply once we save that one let's just try to close this and try to visit it again. Let's try visiting some websites. Let's try Reddit. Reddit. 
and try also LinkedIn LinkedIn and we can also try YouTube so you can see here the site can be reached Reddit is blocked um, LinkedIn is blocked YouTube is blocked how about Google let's try google.com Google is there and then can we still go for our Gmail I'm still logged in yes Gmail is working how about my Google Drive we can um, type here Google Drive and let's go google.com and try to search Google Drive there you go Google Drive is there Google Drive should work there you go Google Drive okay there you go Google Drive is working my internet is a little bit slow but you can see it there now we can go back to Google again Google we can type actually reddit here reddit and then reddit will show up on the search but by the time we click on this one we can right click open new tab it's blocked we can also type in LinkedIn and then click on LinkedIn but it's blocked go back how about Facebook we can search these ones but they are blocked by the time we click the link that's how we configure your deny all statement if you have any questions just comment down below thank you for watching